Welcome back to friggin like episode 61 of the Tight Squeeze build. You know I figured out it's probably like 60 more episodes than there needed to be if I had just bought one that was already done. But it's not and I'm building it from the ground up. So <sighs> I know it's been a long break. I'm trying to plan, trying to get things done. It's, it's all getting pear shaped. But we're here, we're working on it. What I've done today, since I put the front back on yesterday to take some photos, uh, it just about folded in half because I took the centre section out to fit the 8274 winch in there, which took a lot of strength out. And so, basically I've got this piece of angle line here, and I'm going to stick it on there and weld it to there, and weld some plates down to here. Just like that, magic done. Strength reinforced a little bit, not all of it still has a potential to bend but for now it will do then what am I going to do well, I haven't actually got that far yet so bear with me I'm gonna get this done make up some braces put some strength back in and then we'll carry on to the next job whatever that may be oh good news also I uh, sent my radiator off to Leroy at uh, Advanced Creations and he's welding some stuff on there for me I can't weld alloy I don't have the machine so He's uh, going to spin some stuff up on the lathe, weld some lugs on the bottom and some stuff on the top and then I should be able to mount the radiator. Then I can look at starting to run the lines and um, get one of those Davies Craig electric water pumps once I save up some money for that. Yeah, a little bit of a plan. So, bear with me and get this done and figure out what I'm doing next. Right, so as you've seen, I've got this in here and it's super strong. Exactly what I wanted to achieve. Um, basically just tying this together where I cut this section out for the winch. Nice and easy job. It's nice to get back into it and actually do something even though it is just a little job. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and piece together out of various bits and pieces. You guys will soon find out if it works or not a rear disc brake conversion because it's still got the drums on the back so i'm going to shoot down to the auto parts store and see what i can find and i'll let you know the recipe if it works and then uh, hopefully it'll be a cheap and easy disc brake conversion for the back of the toyota eight inch rear axle so bear with me i'll be back
Right oh, so you're probably wondering by now what I'm doing. I know I mentioned I was going to do a disc brake conversion. It's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, basically went down to the auto parts store today and I got the rotors. And the rotors that I need are for a, a Mitsubishi Challenger or Mitsubishi Montero Sport, I think you guys call it in the US. Uh, I believe the parts are the same from 97 to 2004. Uh, the ones I got uh, are off of 2001. It's the same part number all the way through. Uh, so I found this quick easy disc conversion on Pirate 4x4. If you haven't been on there, you should go on there. Um, don't be a noob, you know, they don't like that. Or do. It's good entertainment when the new guys turn up and ask a million questions over and over again. Uh, I do that occasionally just to you know, keep the forum alive. It's a good time on Pirate. But anyways, so what we need is the Mitsubishi Challenger uh, rotors or discs, whatever you want to call them. And basically I've got to disassemble all this crap. And then I've got to cut the flange, the axle flange that bolts to the housing. Pretty much just cut this crap off. Plasma cutter or um, grinder. Cut that off. And then um, wallets apart, I've got some crusty old uh, chromoly axles to go in there. When I say crusty old, I just mean they've been sitting in the shed and um, they're all rusty. But it's all good. Uh, I'll put those in while we're here. And um, yeah, basically I've got to fabricate a custom bracket to hold the caliper. And the calipers I'm going to use are either from the Mitsubishi Challenger or uh, you can get them off a D21 Pathfinder or Toronto, wherever you are in the world, America, you guys call it Pathfinder, we get both down here, so it is what it is, D21. Uh, you use the rear calipers, and I've been looking around today, I went around uh, Rekka, I went to a couple of auto parts stores, and nobody sells brand new calipers for them, so option A is get them off rockauto.com or autozone.com or something in the states they're cheap enough and um, they'll just air freight them out or option B is go to the wrecker and get some and then get a reconditioning kit and pull it apart might as well want everything else to be good uh, now I have ordered new bearings uh, no I didn't I lied I tried to order new bearings um, they didn't have any so I'm going to find out what the part number is. I'll probably just get them sent from uh, overseas. It's just going to be easier. Throw it all in one shipment. Um, I've got new axle seals for it. And then, yeah, basically just rip all this crap off. And we'll get started with um, putting these rotors on. And, uh, yeah, once I get some calipers, then I can continue. I was hoping to buy the whole lot and get it all done. But, anyways, now you know the secret. You can do a quick and easy uh, disc brake conversion. I'll show you what we got to do. I'm gonna do it a little bit different than what you're expecting. You might say, what the hell are you talking about? Well, basically, uh, I wanna put cutting brakes on here, fiddle brakes, cutting brakes, uh, whatever else you wanna call them. Uh, so I'm gonna go with two calipers, so I'm gonna have my rear brakes, and then I'm gonna have my fiddle brakes on the rear, completely separate, and then I'll show you a little trick um, that I learned from the Malaysian Rainforest Challenge. A lot of guys run their rigs with a air over hydro setup so i'll show you that once we get down the road of plumbing up all the brake system so let's get into it so i was missing a wheel stud uh yeah it could be why it's uh bent twisted and snapped off so i might replace all of them, maybe. Now, if you've never pulled out a rear axle before, it's never fun. Uh, so basically what you gotta undo is the four bolts on the inside of the housing, and then an easy trick, uh, especially if you're at the wreckers or you're just at home, you don't have a slide hammer or whatever, get your drum cover and put it on backwards, like so. Grab a couple of wheel nuts, lug nuts, whatever you guys want to call them, chuck them on and uh, now you've got a bit of a DIY slide hammer you can just use to pull them out. So let me whack these out.
Well, it's as simple as that. It actually fits perfect, almost like it's made for it. I'm pretty happy with that. Do yourself a favor and buy new rotors. They're cheap enough, it was like 70 bucks each or something. It's all good. Now, if you're wondering why I went from a t-shirt to beanie and hoodie today, well, for some reason, it's freaking cold. I don't know why. It's, uh, it's one of those days, nice like semi-summer day yesterday and freezing cold raining today. So, is what it is. Uh, yeah, got myself a coffee, a nice Ultra 4 cup, and get these soon. We're gonna put them up on the website, I think. And uh, t-shirts and stuff. We've got a whole bunch of Ultra 4 t-shirts we're about to launch on our off-road addiction store. So keep an eye out for that stuff. And of course, there's tight squeeze t-shirts on there as well. Anyways, that's probably about me. I don't really have any more parts to do it. I need to get a press sort of, I've got a press, but I need to press the bearings off or get new bearings for the axle and swap all that stuff over. Once I've done that, then we can start looking to assemble and I'll get some calipers and we'll be sorted. Thanks for watching this guys and sorry for a, a lack of effort lately. I'm getting there, trying to get back in the groove of things. Let me order some parts and uh, mainly just gotta save up things again. Just gotta. Yeah, get some money going, and then once we get that, we get some parts going, and we'll be winning. So, we'll try and see you guys very soon. Try and be back here next week, but if you don't see me, it won't be far after that. I'll try and order some parts today, so hopefully it'll be here in time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys soon.